We're going to go now to Twitter and answer some of your viewer questions. If you have a question for us that you would like to see answered on this program, just send it using the hashtag ask R O F. Our first question tonight comes from planet hospice who asks how effective and influential is the insidious Heartland Institute and its anti-science guru, Myrene Bell, installing U.S. implementation of renewable energy and in hampering vitally important U.S. progress towards combating existential abrupt climate change. I think groups like the Heartland Institute, which they are by no means alone in any of this science denial, they are at the forefront of the assault on both regulations and science itself within the Republican party. Now Heartland has kind of, you know, taken a lot of heat over the years. They've been one of the most vocals. They're the people uh, who've put up those massive billboards in the past with a picture of Charles Manson that says, I still believe in climate change to you. Obviously absolutely stupid statement to make that has no bearing on anything whatsoever but the Heartland Institute decided to do it and they're funded by fossil fuel interests. See, that's the thing about all these Republican think tanks that go out there and they, they got their own scientists or, you know, experts, people like Myron E. Bell. And they tell us that no, science isn't settled on this. There's big arguments in the scientific community. Uh, we don't know if the planet's even warming or if it is warming, we certainly can't say that human beings are doing it. And if we can say that human beings are doing it, then we can't say what percentage. And if we do happen to have a percentage, uh, then there's probably nothing we can do anyway. That is actually the line of thought, the train of thought that Republicans have been using recently. We've seen Marco Rubio come out with that, like, well, we can't really put a percentage on what you know, humans are contributing to climate change. And so yeah, actually scientists can, and they have, they have, how about you go read a scientific paper, Marco Rubio? How about you stop reading the propaganda being put out by groups like the Heartland Institute or Heritage Foundation or any of these other right wing fossil fuel funded organizations. And you start looking at the real science. Cause here's the thing, regardless of what Republicans tell you, Scientists, the people out there fighting for a better planet, they don't have anything financially to gain from any of this. The fossil fuel companies do. You know, I I've seen that, that talking point too many times. I've spent many years covering climate science denial, uh, through my work with the smog blog. So this is an issue I'm very up on. And Republicans always want to tell us that these scientists out there think they know better than everybody else. They're just in it for themselves. What do they have to gain? Nobody's paying them to go out there and say the planet is burning down and that we need to save it. The only thing they have to gain is a slightly more habitable planet for themselves and their loved ones. And that is reason enough for them to come out there and try to make things better. Meanwhile, groups like Heartland, groups like Heritage and all of the others out there, they're funded by fossil fuel companies. The people who do have a direct interest, financial interest in us denying that a problem even exists. Because if we all finally admitted that yes, this is happening and yes, humans are making it worse. And yes, the fossil fuel companies are responsible. Then suddenly their profits go way down. And we start investing in renewable energy and not once along the way has any one of those idiotic CEOs running an Exxon, a Shell or BP or Chevron or any of them said, you know what? How about we, us, the energy companies take the lead and start switching from oil to solar panels. Let's switch from oil to windmills. We know the technology is there. We know it works. We even know how to make it. We could stay in the energy business even after oil is gone. Not one of them has done it. They could have taken the lead on this issue more than 20 years ago and they failed to do it because they wanted to take the easy way out, continue destroying the planet and continue making tens of billions of dollars every year. They could be making double that right now had they invested in renewable technology 20 years ago.